For this whole video, I would try to pause and solve each letter problem that we have and then play the video to check your answer. So I would try it on your own and then only use the video to check. So looking at this first one, we have 10 to the x equals 2. I'd write that problem down, try to solve it, and then come back to the video. So we already have 10 to the x on one side by itself. So I'm going to take the log of both sides. It's going to be a common log since it's base 10. And that way, the log and 10 to the x will cancel, and you'll just be left with x is log of 2. There's my exact answer. This says to do two things. Find the exact answer for the value of x and also round to the thousands place. So I'm going to also grab my calculator, and every calculator has a log button. And I'm going to do log of 2 and round it to the third decimal place, which is going to give me 3.01. So there's my exact and my rounded answer. Doing the exact same thing with the next one, I recommend pausing the video and coming back to it. I'm gonna start by trying to getting the e to the x on one side by itself. So I'm gonna subtract eight from both sides, which is gonna give me three e to the x equals eight. Now I need to get that e to the x by itself still, so I'm gonna divide both sides by three, which is gonna give me e to the x equals eight thirds. So I need to take the ln of both sides now to get rid of that e base. We take ln of both sides. That way these cancel. Here's my exact answer. ln of 8 thirds would be the exact answer. And then to get the rounded answer, I'm just going to grab my calculator and use the ln button. ln of 8 thirds gives me 0.981, round into the third decimal place. And keep going with the next one. See if you can pause it and get the answer. First thing to do is subtract seven to try to isolate that logarithm, get it on one side by itself. So I have log base five of x, equals 10 minus 7 is 3. Now I have the log on one side by itself, so I'm going to raise it from base 5 to cancel out. So x is just going to be 5 to the third, or I can plug that into my calculator, and 5 to the third is 125. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to isolate the log, then use an exponent to cancel out the log and get the answer by itself. So first, isolating the log. I'm going to get rid of that negative 3 by adding 3 to both sides. So I'm going to have ln of x plus 3 equals 1 plus 3 is 4. Now I have ln on one side by itself. I have ln of x plus 3. So I'm going to take base e to cancel out with the ln, which is going to leave me with x plus 3 equals e to the fourth. I don't quite have x by itself yet because there's more than just an x inside the ln, so I need to subtract 3 for my final answer. So the exact answer is going to be e to the fourth minus 3. And then I can grab my calculator and plug this in to see what the decimal answer is. So I'm going to round it to the third decimal place. You get 51.598 to the third decimal place. We're going to continue down with the next one. I want to get the log on one side by itself. So I have 2 minus the log of x, so I'm going to subtract 2. That's going to give me negative log of x equals 5 minus 2 is 3. I don't quite have the log by itself because it's multiplied by negative 1. So I need to divide both sides by that negative 1 coefficient to get rid of it. That way I get log of x equals 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. 
And now to get rid of the common log, we're going to take base 10 of both sides. So x is going to equal 10 to the negative 3. And I'll grab my calculator and plug that in to get the decimal answer of 0 0.001. The next one is a lot faster. We have 10 to the log of 85. Well, 10 to log base 10, those just cancel already on their own. So we get 85 equals x. Try to use that solution to look at the next one. It's the same concept. You have e to the ln, those cancel each other out. So you get x squared equals 16. And then you can take the square root of both sides. You want to think about what number squares to be 16. And we want to remember to do plus or minus because there's a positive square root and a negative square root. And the square root of 16 is 4. So both positive 4 and negative 4 will square to be 16. So you have two x values as your answer. Positive 4 and negative 4 both square to be 16.